Hey guys, so I'm back, and right now you're gonna notice that I added a few extra things to the script, and that's because I made the video before but messed up. So I'm not gonna retype it. So right here, under your extend script, you're gonna put it's what's called a variable, and the variable first you're gonna type in int. And if the int has these square brackets right here, that means there's going to be multiple numbers over here. So you're going to name it int normal tree, and then put the numbers. And these numbers are called or the IDs for normal tree. So if you open up your RS client, your RS bot client, and then uh, get in the game and go by stand by tree or something and hit, and then go up to the top of the client and hit view, and then objects it's going to show you a white number on on the middle of the tree and that's the ID for that tree so then you can put it right there and then same thing with hatchet it'd be that's another object and then like a bank or something it's still object like a bank person that's an NPC so same thing and down here on the on start I put a, a log caller method so when the script starts it's gonna log down the bottom in magenta welcome to YouTube task but look, we're getting an error on caller. That's because we uh, don't have an import for caller. So we're gonna hold uh, real still on that for a second and then it says import caller. Well, we're gonna do that and error is gone. And the reason for variables is you cannot just tell your script to chop a uh, oak tree or something because it's probably gonna laugh at you. You need to tell it what the oak tree is or normal tree is for it to work. So down here, under the on start, we're going to put private void chop. And this is going to be our chopping method. So then we're going to put rs object tree equals objects dot get nearest int. And see, that's what, uh, that's why it's good in the first video when we link the configure build path thing. It puts the all the possible methods we can use to make a bot right there for us so we can see and make it the best. And you don't really have to go digging for different methods. It's all right there. So that's why we did that, make it easier for you when you're just learning. And then we do objects got get nearest normal tree. So the normal tree was what we named the variable up there. So it's going to know. Now it knows what a normal tree is. So And then we get an error on RS object. Just hold it there import rs object the wrappers one right here not the client the wrappers and that error is gone and telling it to get nearest it's just going to get the nearest normal tree to you so then we're going to do hold on just a second all right sorry guys i forgot to add this right above uh your rs object thing your rs object tree thing deal so what this is going to do right here it's going to get your player and get the animation. The animation, if if you're standing still, the animation is negative one. If you're running, there's an animation for that. If you're chopping a tree, there's an animation for that. So it's going to get your player's animation. And if it's negative one, that means you're standing still. So if you're standing still and your player isn't moving, then you're going to get the nearest tree and chop it. But we're going to address that later. So we're going to do RS object if tree dot my bad add that what that will do that's just a little fail safe and then we're gonna do tree dot do action right here and then when you when you're by a tree and you want to chop it and you right click it it says chop right so then we're just gonna do chop then this right here, this will chop a tree. So under that, we're just going to add a little sleep, a little bit delay. So your um, script looks a little bit more human-like. So we're just going to do sleep 450. And the timing on a bot is in milliseconds. So this is really just a uh, little over four tenths of a second. So if you do a thousand, thousand right there, that's one second. So this is this will chop right here. 
and then your dropping method. We're going to make another private void. Name it drop. And you're once again you're going to do um here how can I show you? We'll do this. If inventory dot is full so it's going to do if your inventory is full we want it to drop right so we're going to do inventory dot contains I'm going to leave that blank for right now I forgot to tell you here's where I can show you the plain integer we're going to need an integer for a normal log so a normal tree log we'll just name it normal log equals let me go get the ID real quick alright so the ID for normal log is 1511 so that's that and then so we're gonna do if your inventory is full and your inventory contains normal log we want it to Damn. We also want to add an RS object log equals objects dot. We've already done this before, so I'll just kind of go through that kind of quickly. We'll do if M we're going to get recognize the normal log here. If your inventory is full and your inventory contains normal log, we want to do log dot do action. Well, I'm trying to figure out what if you guys don't know much, a different an easy way to do it. So we'll just do inventory dot drop. We're gonna drop all except our hatchet ID. So if you don't have your hatchet wielded and it's in your, in it's in your inventory, you're, you sure as hell don't want to drop a dragon hatchet or nothing like that. So we're just going to drop everything except for the hatchet. And then we're going to do a little bit of sleep time. And we'll just make it smaller, like 250 or something like that. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you think is right. So in our loop, if you want to test it out, see how well it works or something, you can do... Um, you just want to test out the chop method. You can just do chop. That's how you implement it. That's how you'd make that method chop right there. So then on our return value, we want to make it return random uh, 850 1200. You can make it whatever you want. The return random is just going to how often it's going to do the loop over it. Well, how fast, how much? Well, how can I put it? How long it, it's going to wait before... Ju just put that. Whatever. doesn't really matter. And then... Well, we can do our drop method first. Because if you start... We'll put the drop, drop method first. Then we're going to put our chop method. And that'll... That's basic, but that's really not going to be great. So if you want to make it better, we can put it all together like this. Put this in the loop. The void stuff's bad for that kind of thing, so we'll just do it like this. We're going to add else, and then add this. And the else, what the else will do it's saying if your inventory is full and your inventory contains a normal log then we want it to drop everything except for your hatchet and then it's saying if your inventory isn't full we want to chop so that's going to be that's going to chop and everything so that's basic right there and that'll that'll work and then we can delete that and that'll just drop and chop and then now, in 
the next video, I'll show you how to make a GUI. And a GUI is just where you're going to select your settings for the script, and then I'm going to show you how to make that work. And then after that, we can add a paint and banking as well. So I'll see you in the next video. Hope you learned something.